Hey, this is Brett, and this 2022 Ram Promaster City Wagon is stock number 22T72. I am here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Your new and used Ram and Promaster City headquarters. And today I'm gonna go walk around this whole vehicle. We're gonna check out some of the highlights on it, go over all the options, starting off with the 2.4 liter four-cylinder Tiger Shark engine, puts out 178 horsepower, 174 foot-pounds of torque. It's combined with the nine-speed automatic transmission and it's gonna get you 28 miles per gallon on highway, 21 city for an average of 24 miles per gallon. So we're gonna go all the way around, bright white is the color, I'm shooting this video in 4K, which I do all my videos. And uh, if you have HD capabilities on, turn them on right now because we're gonna go all the way around inside, check out some of the main features and go over the payload and towing specs on this vehicle. I always thought these were neat uh, little vans, especially if you had a small business that had to haul um, product to people and maybe not that far away or far away and but didn't wanna pay you know big shipping costs. This would be a really neat vehicle to have. It comes with Nexon and Priz all season tires, these are 21555 R16s. You can see the tread pattern on there. You do get the painted steel rims on this vehicle. Uh, we're gonna check out the original window sticker here. Feel free to pause this at any point. I'm not gonna go over everything, but just some of the main points on here. So it is a 22 Promaster City wagon, and the wagon gives you the second row seating in it. Everything on your left there is your standard equipment, and pretty much this is a base package. The only um, optional equipment is the Upfit interface connector, which was 145 bucks. Total MSRP is 30,060. To get your summit price in the upper right-hand part of the screen is a link to our website to this vehicle to get all the pricing, rebates, and information on there. Three year 36 bumper to bumper and five year 60 powertrain. 21 city, 28 highway for an average of 24. And it's not rated for any safety crash test ratings. So anyways, first off, I'm gonna show you the second row here because I think it's kind of neat. These second row seats fold up like so, which gives you um, extra space back here. And I don't wanna ruin the surprise what I got in the back, but um, you can see those second row seats. These seats, you know, Go down like that. Not really sure how to get that back down and I do not want to break it, so. One second. So you just got to press down a little bit harder. I didn't want to break it. I wasn't sure if it was supposed to be like that, but you just got to give it a little bit extra of a push. And then those seats go up like that. You will notice that it does have latch child safety systems so you can put car seats back here. So if you need to haul a bunch of stuff, plus kids, you can do that too. Um, these don't come standard with any floor mats or anything, but it does have side curtain airbags in it. Uh, these sliding doors, they're really smooth. They open up really nicely. That's opened up all the way, um, but just click it and it kind of just goes on its own. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the back brakes are drums. And coming around to the back here, you have the 70-30 split rear doors. This one does have the glass in the back, so it's easy to see out of. It also comes with a backup camera here. So these doors open up like so. And there is my surprise. Uh, these vans are, you know, they're very useful because you can put a pallet back here. And if you had to haul you know, anything that you need to be taken to a customer, it's really convenient, just put the pallet right back here. Um, so this one can haul up, to, has a payload of up to 1760 to 1886. Uh, so 1,886 pounds you can put in the back of here. Uh, it also has a tow capacity when you have the tow package um, of up to 2,000 pounds. So very capable van. I will say, however, though, there is not much room for air when you put a pallet in here. I don't know if I just have a wide pallet or uh, what the deal is, but it's, it's pretty tight, but it fit in there 
and there is just a little bit, you know, I can still move it. Um, but I wanted to show you that and it's kind of neat. Sorry, I couldn't find a nicer pallet than that one. Uh, but the cool thing about these doors, when you do put these pallets in, uh, you're gonna wanna open these doors all the way. So they will open up completely like that. And the passenger side door does that too. And then when you close them, there's not really much you have to do is they'll just lock into place right there. And then you can close them like so. But just wanted to show you that you can definitely indeed put a pallet back here. I always thought these would make a lot of sense for like an engine shop that, you know, maybe custom built engines and had to ship it someplace. You just get a fleet of these guys and just uh, ship them all over the country if you wanted. Um, it'd be pretty efficient on fuel and uh, lower your shipping costs depending where you're shipping it to. Inside you get the black cloth interior, black and gray, I guess you could say, two-tone interior. Power locks, power windows. They, these are manual when, uh, mirrors on here though. We'll hop inside, check out the radio, we'll check out that backup camera, then we'll just do a final walk around here. I mean, there's not a ton of stuff that we go over on this one, but uh, you know, enough. Has an outside temperature display, um, instrument clusters nicely laid out. You get the gloss black on the steering wheel there. Bluetooth controls, cruise controls on the right. Has the Uconnect five inch radio, um, AM, FM. This is touchscreen, so that's nice. This is also where your backup camera shows up. It has the uh, grid lines there and the center line. So if you did have a hitch on here, you could get hooked up to your boat, camper, trailer, whatever. Uh, real easily get a USB jack, the nine speed automatic transmission. You do get 12, two 12 volt power points right there. Get a little storage cubby above the glove box. Get a little coin holder up there, I guess you could say. And then there's storage up above uh, the drivers here. So you can put papers and clipboards or whatever you may be using that for. And that's that. It's, Nice and quiet in here. I think the wagon comes with the padded headliner, which uh, quiets it down a little bit. So that's really it. We'll start it up, do a final walk around on the outside, and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Learned a little bit about the ProMaster City. Like I said, I think these would be really neat vehicles for uh, small businesses that have to haul product places. Thanks for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash summit auto. And uh, if you want to check out more photos of this 2022 ProMaster City or one of our other 450 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, uh, work vans, stuff like that, go to that website right there, summitauto.com, full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle from two locations, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos that you see there. Click the bell notifications, you'll get updates on the videos I do each and every day here at Summit Automotive. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to more ProMaster City vans like this one in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out, and we're super excited to help you with this ultra clean, good looking, brand new 2022 ProMaster City in bright white city wig. And thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on my YouTube channel. I really appreciate it.